If you're a live streamer on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, you know using chatbots is a great way to automate tasks and engage with your audience, which is why in this video right here, I'm gonna share with you the top 10 Streamlabs CloudBot commands you should have in your channel. Here we go. What is up all you awesome streamers? Wild here helping you become bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. Now let's just start off with the basics. What is Streamlabs CloudBot? The CloudBot from Streamlabs is a chatbot that adds entertainment and moderation features to your live stream. It automates tasks like announcing new followers and subs and can even send message of appreciation to your viewers. CloudBot is super easy to set up and it's completely free. The very first thing you have to do when it comes to commands with CloudBot is you have to turn it on. To enable CloudBot, first navigate to the CloudBot dashboard on streamlabs.com and toggle the switch highlighted in the image here. Next, head to your Twitch channel and mod Streamlabs by typing forward slash mod Streamlabs in the chat. If you're streaming on YouTube, you can mod Streamlabs by going to your YouTube studio, settings, community, and adding this link here as a moderator. Now, if you like any of the top 10 commands that we're about to go over, you need to know how to add them. And that's super simple. All you need to do is visit the command section in the CloudBot dashboard. Then click on add command and an option to add your commands will appear. All right, let's get to that top 10. And number one is a welcome command. A welcome message is a great way to make your viewers feel invited. You can customize your message here to include any information you wanna share with your viewers, such as links to your account, what your channel is about, anything like that. The cool thing about a welcome command is you can also add aliases. And aliases allows your response to trigger if someone uses a different type of command. As shown here on screen, if someone uses the exclamation point, hi, or hey, or hello, the same response will appear. To add an alias, you just need to navigate to the advanced section when adding a custom command. Number two is a socials command. We recommend adding a command specifically for your social media accounts. You can add all of your links in one message or you can break them up individually, having an exclamation point Twitter, Insta, Facebook, etc. It's really up to you. Number three is a tip command. While not necessary, tips can go a long way to improving your stream. If you like to include a link to your tip page, you can use this variable shown here on screen. If you have a Streamlabs tip page, we will automatically replace that variable with a link to your tipping page. Number four, request command. This is used specifically for media share. If you're unfamiliar, adding media share widgets gives your viewers the chance to send you videos so you can watch them together live on stream. This is a default command, so you don't need to add anything custom. Just go to the default CloudBot commands list and ensure that you have it enabled. If you wanna learn more about MediaShare, you can check out the video in the top right corner. Number five, a merch command. This is another default command that we recommend you utilize. If you have a Streamlabs merch store, anyone can use this command to visit your store and support you. Number six, a shout out command. You or your moderators can use the shout out command to offer a shout out to other streamers that you care about. If you really wanna utilize the shout out command, I recommend shortening it to exclamation point SO. Your mods will thank you. Then use the template format that you see right here on screen. This way you can shout out the target's name, their URL so people can follow, and what type of game they play so that way the correct people follow that streamer. Number seven, hug command. This command is just a wholesome way to give your viewers a chance for them to show a little bit of love in your community. And trust me, sometimes that's, uh, that's all you need. Number eight is an uptime command. This shows how long you've been live. Do this by adding a custom command and using the template shown here on screen. This way, it'll show you exactly how long you've been live for. This is actually a really helpful command because people sometimes wanna know how much of the stream they have missed, and this is an easy answer they can type in. Number nine, death command. This shows how many times you have died in a game. This is perfect for horror or survivor games, or if you love to play soul-born games like me, having a death command makes it fun. And all you have to do is use the template on screen. If you ever need to reset your counter, just use this template that you see right here on screen. 
And number 10 is the wins command. This records how many wins you have achieved during a stream. This is perfect for battle royale games or any fighter game. Just use the template that you see here on screen to keep track of your account. If you ever need to reset your account, just like the death command, you can use this template right here to do just that. Just a quick note, when it comes to the death and wins command, we recommend that you only select the permissions for broadcasters and mods to use that. That way the count doesn't get messed up or reset accidentally. That, my friends, are the top 10 commands that we recommend you start out with on your channel. Hey, did we miss one? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you need any more help with anything Streamlabs related or streaming your content online, that's where I come to help you out. I'm gonna toss a couple of videos here up on screen to make you bigger and better. My name's Wild for Games, wishing you the best of luck, take care, and of course, peace.